Hi, Lou Fei. I, I hope that I'm pronouncing that correctly, by the way. If I'm not, please correct me. <clears throat> okay, well, here we are. Evaluation day. First up, your King Seiko. Absolutely unserviced. It's completely unserviced. There's no lubrication that I can see underneath the capsules here or around any of these pivots. And the movement generally looks hazy, but... I mean, we're getting a clean signal. As these high beats often do, even on service, they will run relatively well. This is very low amplitude, and it's hideously out of adjustment. But I wonder if I can get that a little better. There we go. It's a clean signal. Ah. It absolutely needs service. But I don't see anything to really eh, worry about. Why is that number dropping like a rock? It did not want to start running, I will say that. It was not happy about it, but the movement looks okay to me. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to find. I don't think we're going to find anything physically wrong. I think we're just going to find that it's really, really dirty. Um, let's talk about your next watch. Hang on just one second. Uh, and this next watch is the Silver Wave that you picked up at Goodwill. Uh, and this is going to be... It's, it's, it's not running. It, well, it's sort of running. So this is the Goodwill um, Sportsmatic that you've got here. It's kind of chugging along, but I mean, my machine can't even get a reading on it. These are good basic movements. I don't believe this 180 number at all. I'm watching the balance, and I don't, I don't believe that at all. The balance is barely moving. Uh, it's got some corrosion on the case here. Uh, I'm not sure how deep that goes. We're gonna have to see. Definitely got some. That's this greenish stuff here. That's that's copper being pulled out of the alloy of that plate. Um, yeah, this it's insane. There's no way this thing is running at 360 degrees of amplitude. That's just not happening. It's barely running. Okay, let's do these things. I like the nice case back. This watch, it's it's original. It just it's it's not happy. Uh, you know what are you gonna do? This one is pretty. Look at the shine on it. Nah, it'll be fine when we're done. That'll be fine when we're done. Let me put this back together. Um, the dial damage uh, is, I don't think that's going to come off. That's one of those things where the, the um, some moisture inside has, has would you focus? <clears throat> moisture sat in here, and this darkness, that's going to be in between. That's patina on the metal underlayer. There isn't a thing I'm going to be able to do with that. Your hand surface is a little damaged too. Somebody was in this watch. This kind of damage only happens when there's careless work done. I believe I have some new old stock handsets for this model. I believe I do. I'm going to have to check. But this stuff, I think, is forever. I'd be amazed if that was imp improvable at all. Your crystal's good. Yeah, your crystal's, well, it's got a couple hits on it. The problem is, is finding crystals for these is no picnic. Um, I'll have to do some research. Such a lovely watch. I was just looking at uh, the Grand Seiko page for the new Grand Seiko dress watches, and they talk about the heritage of design of Grand Seiko. I, I have one of these, and it was funny because mine's from 1970, uh, much like this one. This one is from 1972. And they were talking about the things for Grand Seiko. What makes a Grand Seiko, you know, the... the, the the design of it, and it was everything. It was everything here. It was the flat markers with the polished sides. It was the high polished bevel. It was the the planes of the of the case. It was the half recessed crown. It was the undercut of the case. I'm like, well, geez, I basically have a Grand Seiko. Isn't that cool? This watch, it just needs service. Uh, it's a pity about the the corrosion on the case, but uh, I don't think it's deadly. I have to snap that back on. I don't think we're going to be... I haven't seen a crystal for one of these in years. 
I will look and I will see. I just don't know what I will find. You're missing your loom pip here. And this loom pip is probably in the watch somewhere. Everything else works as it should. Nice little watch. These are cool. Um, it's... It's just gonna, it's gonna take what it's gonna take. I think the biggest challenges on both of these things are gonna be the crystals. Uh, if this were my watch, I would probably just polish this original crystal as best as I could and live with it. That, this crystal only has a tiny mark on it, like right here. I might also leave that. Definitely needs service. They both need service for real, hardcore. Um, the numbers on this one, are not good, but after we clean it, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm not sure how the mainspring is going to go on that, but we'll see. These are nice little chuggers. Okay, uh, you let me know what you want to do. Thank you.